check it out, everybody. Future Meta Wolf here. How's it going? So, I've come before you. You know that Meta Wolf is gone for the moment. We do not know where he's at. But Future Meta is still here. So, we can go on with that. Uh, as you can see, I do not have a temporal remote anymore. No. It is unnecessary now. I have had the Enochian sigil of time carved into my ribs, and now I control time at my will with my own power. Ha. That's cool. I never will use it for evil, though. I fight the hordes of the, what was I calling them? The Army of the Deus Sex. The Deus Sex Machines. The plot holes open, and the Deus Sex Machines enter, and I cut them down. I am Future Meta. Dude. Ha <laughs> ha. Totally radical. Anyways, let us go on with the show. We are... Yeah. So, without any further ado, let's roll the credits and come back to the scene yet again. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to even explode in. Damn it. I should have exploded in earlier, but I didn't. But now I have. So my greetings to you, honored guests of the Wolf Den. The creatures of the Wolf Pack bid you adieu. Hello. Yes, hello. Konnichiwa. Ha. So, we are here today to discuss the crossover event on CW's DC superhero shows. The other shows are cool too, but this was the CW's DC superhero show crossover special. And it was totally radical. We started off on Supergirl, but none of the crossover stuff happened until the end of the episode. But a couple times, the Vortex tried to open up when the Vine Vortex finally did open up, it was Barry, and he was like, we need your help, and she was psyched. So then, we went to the Flash, and on the Flash, uh, it started off with Arrow and Flash standing and being attacked by a bunch of people, and it turns out it's the others. <laughs> And it was pretty crazy, and lots of stuff happened, and that was cool. Then at the end of Flash, um, everybody was was abducted by aliens, and <laughs> it was interesting to see. And yeah, on Arrow, it was continued, and it was Arrow's hundredth episode, and it was a uh, totally awesome throwback to everything in Arrow, and there was lots of cool stuff going on, but it turns out it was all a dream state. They were in the Matrix. Whoa. I'm in the Matrix.
Matrix. They were in the Matrix and they had to escape the Matrix and fight their way on the ship and things got interesting from there and eventually it ended to be continued on Legends of Tomorrow and they time traveled and flew spaceships and did all kinds of crazy cool stuff and well Will 420 vlogs and I just gotta say CW DC superhero crossover was totally radical yes so that was my take on it lots of cool things happened lots of easter eggs lots of shout outs to the to old school, uh, you know, to the to the to the beginnings of the shows, and you know, all lots of cool stuff to that, all that good stuff, and yeah, great stuff. <laughs> so as you can see, future meta here, as I battle the army of the Deus machines, and if my sword does not come out of its belt loop, that could be very dangerous. If I needed it really fast in a battle. But, luckily, I'm here in the wolf den just talking and entertaining and telling you that I love my shows. And if you're not watching them, you should be watching them because they're pretty radical. <laughs> DC superheroes on the CW network, pretty radical. Indeed. I'd like to see Green Lanterns get involved. I'd like to see Constantine come back to to the CW instead of where they started because they're now on the CW app with the episodes of Constantine and it was really cool and I really liked Constantine and they should bring that back and put it on besides Supernatural because it would only make sense. They could even do Supernatural Constantine crossover if they wanted. But, yes, they should have Constantine on there. And I'd like to see a Nightwing show, maybe. I mean, because, like, Oliver said once in Arrow that he would give Felicity the name of Oracle, but Oracle was already taken, which means that Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, was already paralyzed and became Oracle, which means that Dick Grayson Robin was already Nightwing in the Arrowverse. So Batman's been around for a while. He might have Jason Todd or uh I forgot his name. Damn it. Such a Batman enthusiast I am. Hurry, Terry. Peace out. Peace out.